Tucson has its first all plastic tiny home. It's built from blocks of recycled plastic and manages to address some of the biggest issues confronting the city of Tucson. Yeah, homelessness, housing affordability and availability, economic growth. It's a lot to unpack. 13 News reporter Bud Foster is live in Midtown to try to do it for us. Bud. Well, Dan, what started out as something to try to do something about these hard plastics, these things which rot on our landfills or clog our oceans and such, it has evolved over the years and evolved into this. This tiny home behind me is made from this, plastic. Hard to believe, but it is. And it might solve the plastic problem, but other social ills that we're facing as well. It's one of our first prototypes, and I'm so excited that it's here in Tucson right now. The 80 square foot tiny home now sits at the front door of the Ward 6 office of Steve Kozacek, who's been working on this project for a year and a half. My vision is to let's, uh, let's amend our building codes so that we can create tiny home villages within and around the perimeter of Tucson. Villages of tiny homes which use plastic blocks instead of cinder blocks, molded from the unrecyclable plastics, a 22 pound block, which fits together much like a kid's set of Legos. And that's what we've done here is we've stacked up the walls and just dropped some, uh, some threaded steel through the openings and cinched them all together. You don't need mortar, you don't need concrete, you don't need to go hire a mason or anything. Tiny homes which can house the homeless with a few upgrades, tackle the high cost of housing and make it more affordable. And as an added plus, anyone needing a granny flat out back or maybe a shed or a storage unit just about anyone can put it together like this prototype here. It took about 20 minutes to stack all the blocks and about another couple of hours to screw all the um, exterior siding on and get the roof up. So, I mean, it went up pretty quick. All in all, I think somebody who's doing it for the first time will probably take a couple days. The city is working on the zoning changes which will permit the use of these homes if they meet certain specifications. And it seems they picked a good 110 degree day to show off just what it can do. If you stand next to a cinder block wall during the summer, you'll feel the heat radiating off of it. These absorb the heat. And so that's the reason these things are so, uh, so good from a standpoint of, uh, you know, keeping you cool in when it's intemperate outside. Bifusion is looking to set up shop in Tucson to manufacture the blocks, which will also be sold at retail stores. They've got two manufacturing sites in mind and should know by next week which one fits best. It depends on, on where we ultimately go um, and how much work needs to happen to get the facility ready. But um, that's basically where we're working between 10 and 11 months. Yeah, there's a hoping to have something done by the end of the year. And also, this doesn't have to be a tiny home. This can be anything that you want it to be. If you want it to be an office, an art studio, even a man cave. So just remember, when you're doing something nice for yourself, you're also doing something nice for the environment as well. In Midtown, I'm Bud Foster, 13 News. Now, it's time for the 13 News Sports Desk. Sponsored by Desert Diamond Sportsbook, Arizona's best bet.